guys welcome back to my channel i hope you guys are having a wonderful day today i wanted to come on here and share with you all my collection of the bomb products that i have and i'm going to let you know the recommend the items that i actually recommend from the collection and the items that i would say you could probably pass on because they're they're good but they're probably not going to be the best products out from the collection that i own so let's get started with uh let's get started with i guess blushes so let's start with the blushes. I have quite a few blushes here. So let's start with Down Boy. So this is Down Boy and it looks like this. So here it's like a, almost like a baby pink. And then it swatches, I'll go ahead and swatch all of these for you too. So here is Down Boy swatched on my hand here. It's a very, very light pink. And I would say this one here for the blushes, if you're looking for a blush that's not gonna be super pigmented that's going to go on very nicely but it's not going to be uber pigmented i would say this is a good blush it, to me this is a good blush for like the fair skin tones i mean you could use it if you're a darker skin tone but i would think that it work, would work best for people who have fair to maybe medium skin tones because on me it shows up but not a whole lot so i would say this is a good blush but not one of my top recommendations from the from the group of blushes that the bomb makes so i really do think that's a nice one but not a top recommendation the next one I have are some Instain blushes. Let's see, how many Instains do I have here? I thought I had a bunch more than this, and I'm, there we go. So I have three of the Instain blushes. So here's all three that I have. I have, let's see, Houndstooth, Pinstripe, and Argyle. So Houndstooth looks like this on the inside. Houndstooth is a typical, like a mauve color, and I'll swatch that for you. And it is a matte blush. And to me, it's a perfect blush if you want that blush that's just a almost a natural looking flush on your cheeks. I really do love the in-stain blushes because I feel like they last a long time on my cheeks. And I'm someone who my face for some reason kind of eats up blushes. And I feel like the end stains last a good amount of time on my cheeks and I don't have to worry about trying to reapply them or kind of pinching my cheeks to make them look pinker. So I think these do these are really, really nice. I would recommend the in stain blushes because I think they are very, very nice. The next one I have is Argyle and Argyle's packaging looks like that and then the inside of the package is this it's another very pretty pink color and this is like almost like a baby pink so I'll swatch that for you and then there is Argyle so Argyle is right here if you can see hopefully it's focusing for you so that is Argyle Argyle is another one that's a very very pretty pink but this one for some reason comes off better on my cheeks than the first one does which which is down boy i feel like down boy is a little bit less pigmented than what the this one here the argyle is i really do like these end stains like i said so if you're looking at getting one of these blushes i would recommend the end stains over any of the others just because of the, the longevity of how long it's going to last on your face and i think that they're quite pigmented and they're going to be they're going to look really good on your skin i feel like when you put them on they look just nice on your skin. They almost, you can get one that looks more natural. You can get one that's look a little more poppy, which the next one is a little bit more poppy for me. And it's the newest one to my collection, just because I recently found out that this color actually looks good on my skin tone and I had no idea. So this one is Pinstripe. So here is what the packaging for Pinstripe looks like. And then you open it and here is what the inside looks like. And that one, of course you can tell is like a purple color and I'll swatch that for you. So there that is right now. Well, I mean that right now. There that one is on my hand swatch. And that is actually what I'm wearing on my cheeks, if you can see it. I just think that this color, I did not honestly know that it would look good. But evidently, this is the color that looks good on my skin tone. I have more of a yellow-based skin tone. And for some reason, this purple just looks really, really nice. And I really am enjoying it. So I really did like, I wanted to pick this up. And if you're looking at getting any of the bomb products, I would recommend waiting until Hot Look has them. Because Hot Look has them like every three or four months and they're like half off. So instead of purchasing through the bomb or purchasing from Kohl's or purchasing from wherever you can find the bomb products, I would recommend looking for looking at them at through Holt Look just because you can get half off of almost every product that I'm going to show you. They have almost everything on there during their sale. And then also the bomb does offer a half off sale usually around the Thanksgiving time. So if you're looking at getting of these, I would recommend waiting until that, till around that time or looking on Hot Look. The next one I have is Hot Mama. So this one is, to me, it reminds me a lot of the uh, blush that's called Orgasm by NARS. So here's what it looks like on the inside. It, it has pink and then it's like a little bit of pink, a little bit of peach. And for some reason, I can see a little bit of yellow undertone in this. It's a really pretty blush. 
and it does have a little bit of a sheen to it. So this one is not a matte blush, it's more of a sheeny blush. And I do enjoy this one, but again, like I said, these are not going to last as long on your cheeks as as long as the end stains do. The end stains last a, quite a bit of time on your cheeks, and I just feel like they're a little bit better quality, to be honest with you. The next one I have is Cabana Boy. So here is what Cabana Boy looks like. And then you open it, and this one is more of the mauve color again, so we're back to like a mauve. And then I'll swatch that for you. So here is Cabana Boy swatched. Cabana Boy, again, is a very beautiful color. And I do recommend these bl these blushes, all of these blushes, honestly. But I feel like if you're going to choose any out of the bunch that I've showed you so far, I would choose something from the Instinct collection just because I think that they have the best longev longevity. Is that how you pronounce it? They have the best on longev longevity. Oh my gosh, I can't even talk. The next one is Frat Boy. And then that's what the outside looks like. And then when you open it, here is what the inside looks like. This one is more of a nude pink. So let's swatch that one. This is another one that I really do enjoy just because I feel like it looks like a more natural looking blush on your cheeks. And that is Frat Boy. So again, like I said, I do recommend any of these. But like I said, if you're looking at getting one and you want something that's going to be long lasting on your cheeks, I would recommend checking out the Instains because the Instains, I feel like they do a great job of lasting on your cheeks. I feel like the pigmentation is completely there. I feel like you're not going to have any problem using them whatsoever. Now let's move on to the bronzer and the powders that I have. I have one of each. I have the Sexy Mama Anti-Shine Translucent Powder. So here is what it looks like. And of course this is a translucent powder so when you swatch it it's not going to be much of anything. We'll swatch it quick so you can see. It's not much of anything. It's just a translucent setting powder. And I feel like this is a good translucent setting powder, but to be honest with you, I don't feel like it's the best out of the Bombs collection. I feel like if I'm going to look for a translucent setting powder, I might look elsewhere because I feel like this one kind of accentuates my dry, my fine lines and everything. I feel like it's a little too powdery, if that's possible. <laughs> I feel like it's just a little too powdery and accentuates my fine lines a little bit too much. So this is one item that I could say that you could probably pass on. I would say no, I wouldn't. I don't recommend this one. The next one is my bronzer that I have, and I have Bahama Mama. So here is what the Bahama Mama looks like. And then when you open it, it looks like this on the inside. This is almost like a chocolate brown color. And it has a little bit of orange-red undertones to it. So it's not like that gray undertone where it's going to look more of a, like a natural. So you, I don't recommend contouring with it is what I'm trying to say. Because it's got a little bit too much orange to it. I think it looks really good as a bronzer. I think it's a nice bronzer. But again, I feel like there are better bronzers on the market, so I don't recommend this one either. I think it's nice, but not something that I would recommend. I would I would much rather, if you're going to pick up a translucent setting powder, I would recommend the It Cosmetics one. And as far as bronzer, I would pick up the Too Faced, the Chocolate Chocolate Soleil, is that what it's called? I recommend that over this, and then the It Cosmetics over this. Just my opinion, though. Now we're going on to highlighters. So I have two highlighters here. I have the Mary Lou... Mary Luminizer highlighter and that looks like this and then when you open it it looks like this this is the one that you've probably seen all over YouTube and it's very very famous and for a good reason it's beautiful so let me swatch that for you it is a golden type of highlighter so there's what it looks like I think it's perfect for those with medium skin tones is my swatch still on there let me get that other swatch off so we can do a good job of swatching this because I don't want it to look brown Okay, there we go. That looks a little bit better. So there it is on my hand again. I feel like this is an excellent highlighter. I feel like it's really nice for if you want a golden highlighter, I think you would definitely enjoy this. So I highly recommend this highlighter. I think it's very, very nice. And the next one I have is the Cindy Luminizer. So this is what the outside packaging looks like. And then when you open it, this is more of the pinky toned highlighter. So this one would be great as like a blush topper. So I'll swatch this. And this one is a little bit more powdery than the Mary Luminizer. And here's the Cindy Luminizer. I don't have the Betty Lou. I thought I did, but I don't have it for some reason. So I will try to find that if I do have it. And then maybe insert a picture of it. But other than that, those are the highlighters that I have. If you guys could hang on one second, I'm going to actually pause you guys for a little bit. And I'll be right back to do the palettes because my battery's going to die. So hang on one second. Hey guys, I'm back. Hopefully my battery will last. I just charged it up for a little bit. So hopefully we can get through this video without the battery dying. So we're going to start with actually my newest palette that is in my collection and it is the Shady Lady palette. So here is what the outside packaging of the Shady Lady looks like. This is an all like shimmer palette and it's got a nice mirror inside 
And then here are what all the colors look like. So I'm not going to swatch all of these, but if you'd like to see a separate video on any of these, just let me know because I can definitely do that. This one here I would say would be good for someone who likes, like I said, you'd have to almost like the shimmers type of shadows for all over. Or you're going to have to use this as like a supplement. You'll have to have like a supplemental matte palette to go with it. Because I don't think this is a good palette on its own because it's all just shimmers. But I do think it's nice and I do like all the colors inside. But it's not one that I would say is a high recommendation. I think it's okay. I don't think it's the best. So now we're going to move on to the next palette. And the next one is the Meat Matte Nude. Now this one is absolutely amazing. Here's what the packaging looks like. And it's got some ginormous pans inside. It does have a mirror. Every one of these palettes do have a mirror inside of them, which makes them really nice for traveling. And then here's what all the shadows look like inside of this. The pans are very, very large, and this is an all matte palette. So if you had this one in combination with the Shady Lady, I think you'd be fine. So I think this one here is really, really nice. If you like these more, you have to kind of go by colors. What colors do you like? And I truly, all these colors in here call to me, and I really do like them. So this palette for me does, stay, does stand out, and I would recommend this palette to everyone. The next one is the Meat Matrimony Palette. So here is the Meat Matrimony Palette. This one I think came out maybe last year or the beginning of this year. And this is another really, really nice one. It's an all matte palette. And again, it has a nice mirror inside. And this is all matte shades. So here is what the shades are inside of this one. And this is another one that I highly recommend because I feel like it's an excellent palette. If you're someone who likes your matte shades and you, these colors call to you, I would say definitely pick it up because it's, it's super pigmented. Both of these are actually the Meat Matte Nude and then the Meat the uh, Meat Matrimony, I had to think what it's called. Both of these are super pigmented and they last really well on the eyes. You can create so many beautiful eye looks using these palettes. I do recommend both of these. The next one is the Nude Dude Palette. So here's what the Nude Dude packaging looks like. And then when you open it, again, it has a mirror. It does have a little brush that just fell out onto the floor. And then here's what the inside looks like. So this is more of like a neutral palette with it has a little bit of mattes it has a little bit of shimmers this one here i'd say it's nice but i'll be honest with you if you're looking at getting a palette that looks similar to this i would recommend the Lorac uh, pro palette the pro one yes the pro one i would recommend that over this because i feel like this is good but i don't feel like it's great to be honest with you i feel like it's a nice palette to have and to use but i feel like the Lorac is a little bit better than this the next one is the nude Tude. So here is what the nude tude looks like. And then when you open it, you've got, an, again, you've got a little brush inside. And then you've got some similar colors that were in the nude dude. So here's all the colors inside of this one. And again, I'm going to tell you, I think this palette is nice because it's got some mattes and it's got some shimmers. But again, I feel like the, the way this is set up for some reason just to me isn't friendly to use. I feel like the Lorac Pros are just so much better than these two right here. I, rec I think they're nice and I think if you have them you probably definitely enjoy them but I feel like if you have Lorac Pro you would enjoy those better than these. So now we're moving on to the more interesting palettes. I have the Rockstar palette. This is the Bomb Jovi palette. So here's what the outside looks like and then when you open it it looks like this on the inside. So there is the inside of the palette. It does have eyeshadows, it does have a blush and a highlighter and then when you flip down the bottom, whoops, you flip down the bottom, you do have two lip products that I've honestly never used just because I don't like lip products in a palette. I just, that's something that doesn't call to me. I don't like lip products in my palette, but I think this is a good palette. I think it's got a lot of nice colors to it and the highlighter is almost close to the Mary Luminizer highlighter. So if you're looking for something to get the Mary Luminizer highlighter, this is, this is very close to the Mary Luminizer, Mary Lou Luminizer highlighter. It might actually be the Mary Luminizer highlighter, but they just named it something different. So I do recommend this palette. I think it is a really nice one. The next one I have is the Bombs Eye palette. So here is the Bombs Eye. And again, this was a setup similar. This one's got all shadows though. And then at the bottom, it's got, ooh, it's got some little guides that you can do looks with. So it's set up that it's gonna fold in different places. And the little, sh the little eye, sh whoa, I can't talk. The little eye helper things, the little eye guides, honestly, I've never used them. But the shadows, I feel like, are really good. So I would consider, I would recommend this palette also, just because I feel like these shadows are really, really nice, and I feel like these are more cool shadows. The next palette is the Bomb Voyage palette. So here's the Bomb Voyage, and then when you open it, oh, maybe, you have highlighters, you have bronzer, you have blush, you have eyeshadows, 
And then when you flip the bottom, you have lip products. So this one would be a great travel palette. I feel like it would be nice to take with you on vacations and everything. But I will tell you, I did take it with me on my trip to when we went on our cruise. And I had a hard time making looks with this palette, to be honest with you. I wouldn't recommend this palette just because I feel like you have a hard time creating eye looks with it. The last palette I want to show you guys is the In the Balm of Your Hand palette. So here is what it looks like on the outside. And then when you open it, it's got shadows, it's got blushes, it's got bronzers, it's got lip products. It's got everything you're going to need, honestly. And I took this with us when we went to Mexico last year. And this palette is absolutely amazing. I think if you can get your hands on this one, this will be the one I recommend out of all of them. This is my favorite palette that I have from the Balm, and I absolutely love this one. So if you'd like to see any more information on any of these palettes, please let me know because I can do separate looks, I can do separate videos specifically on each of these palettes. Just let me know what you'd like to see. Other than that, that is my Balm collection and what I'd recommend and what I'd say you could skip on. Thank you guys so much for watching, and until next time, I'll catch you guys later.